really been finding it a little bit strange to think about um, the idea of not having a choice whether or not you wanted to come into existence. And, and that's one of the, the uh, ideas in the antinatalism philosophy. And it's kind of it's kind of disturbing in a way. I mean, if you think about it, like that you're forced. You know, you don't have any choice. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's like when I was a kid, I had a kind of a myth in the back of my mind about maybe being in front of this tribunal or this like you know this on a podium or in a in a in a, in a like a um, an operating theater or somewhere like a small theater and. I'm standing there under a big bright light and there's these really authoritative voices um, sitting up on these high, you know, podiums or these high pedestal benches up there and, and they're asking me, do you want to come into existence? And then they, they like have a screen there and then they show me visions and pictures of what, what my future life, if I choose whether or not to come into existence, what I'm going to be going to. And this kind of myth I think is played out for me in my mind on a uh, lots of times but the idea of not having a choice of it being forced on you <laughs> that's the way it really is I mean if you, you can kind of I mean you can kind of have a, a fantasy about having a choice or being like all of a sudden you're conscious and you're in somebody's a bunch of higher beings or you know higher powers are asking you do you want to be born? This is what your life will be like. And then they show you a screen, and then they show you visions and pictures. And that's kind of always been like a fantasy of mine, but I know it's probably more the former than the latter. Anyhow, signing off.